Hi everyone. In today's video I'm going to show you you can make your own genogram using uh, some pre-made symbols and PowerPoint. So on the left here I've downloaded all of the genogram symbols that were pre-made by the Multimedia Lab. There's a folder with all of the different uh, connections to represent relationships between people. There is a folder for different types of female symbols as well as male symbols and LGBTQ symbols. So I've gone in and I'm just using the web version of PowerPoint here. And this is a preview of what we're gonna make. It's not very complicated, but you'll get the sense of how you can use these symbols as well as PowerPoint's um, shapes and text tools to create the genogram you need for your assignment. So I'm gonna right click here on the side and select a new slide and we will get started by erasing these text box uh, options. Get out of here and we are ready to start putting it in our symbols. So let's start with the uh, mom and dad of this genogram, or I guess the, the first generation, and we're gonna select our male death symbol here. Um, I find it's helpful if you have a window open on the side of your PowerPoint, so you can just drag and drop these symbols um, onto PowerPoint. And let me get rid of this side window here, and then I'm gonna resize this to something that I think will work. That looks okay, and let's add uh, let's add their wife to this real quick. Where'd you go? There you are. And so with these um, these male and female death icons, the center is obviously empty where their age would be, and let's space these out a good distance. They're gonna have a couple of kids, and so to put in the age of their passing, we're gonna go up to the top and click on Insert and Text Box. And let's just make up a, an age. Let's go 72. And we're gonna drag this over into our box here. Let's make that text box just as big as we need. Um, once you have a ton of elements in here, if they have text boxes that are really huge, you might be selecting your text instead of the shape over here because that text box is so big. So try and make these text boxes as big as they need to be so that the number displays the way you want. So that seems like a good size right there. And let's create one more for the mom. Uh, where'd you go? Text box. And let's have her outlive the dad. All right, and let's shorten that up and drag it over to our mom. Okay, so now let's use some line shapes to represent their relationship. So in that same, uh, you can actually do this from the home tab or the insert tab, um, but we're gonna look for an option that says shapes. And if we click down on that, we get a library of a whole bunch of different symbols we can use. And I'm just gonna use this basic one here. And so you can grab the little bubbles to tell it how, basically what direction and how far you want it to go. And that looks okay right there. And this is looking really thin, so I'm gonna go over to the options next to shapes here, and I'm gonna click on this little carrot next to shape outline, and let's give this a fatter weight, and let's make it a black uh, stroke, and that looks good for now. Um, since I've already made this the way I want, I can right click on this, hit copy, right click over here, hit paste, and I have an identical shape that I can bring over to the mom and I'm gonna paste one more time so I can grab this node, drag it over here and there we go, we have our connection between these two people. Let's start adding some of their kids. Now let's say they had a, let's go with a son recovering from alcohol or drug abuse. So let's drag that guy in here scale that down to size and position it right about here okay now let's say um, this wasn't a I think what is it, a, a dotted line represents an adoption um, maybe I can't remember um, but I'm going to copy this guy and paste it one more time just so I can show you that if you did need to adjust these shapes anymore um, you can come over to the stroke or shape outline here and if you come down to dashes you can select that dash option to create that symbol to represent that relationship 
um, as well as uh, the text boxes for the age of that person. You can use that to designate um, their name, uh, if they were living with somebody, um, where they were living, and whatnot too. You would just go to insert text box. Um, let's call him Bob. And then bring that where you need it to be. Now let's give Bob a sister and let's pretend like they don't have the greatest relationship. So let's select, um, oh, I'm sorry, it's gonna be an obese female. And we'll scale this down. Put them right about there. And actually I still got that selected so I can just hit paste and drag it over here. There we go. And if I come over to my connections folder, I can look for one and let's see. Um, connection cut off, but it was repaired. I like that one. So let's drag that in here and we are just going to um, position it between the two, just like we did with our other shape elements. So I'm gonna call this done for a quick demonstration on how to use the pre-made symbols as well as PowerPoints shapes and the uh, shape outline adjustment options to create your own genogram. Um, obviously you would spend a lot more time designating the people's names, their ages, and all their relationships, but I'm just going to call this good for today's demonstration purposes. To finish this up and end up with a file that you can share with your professor or send to somebody else, let's save this as a PDF and a JPEG. So we're going to go to file here at the very top and we're gonna to go to download as, and we're gonna select download as PDF. And I'm gonna hit download, and I'm gonna hit allow, and that is, oh, whoops, uh, looks like it saved both of my slides, so um, make sure you've only got one slide if you're working like that. Uh, let me delete you. And if we go to file, download as, download as images, this will also give you a JPEG version of your genogram. So that is how to create and export a genogram using some pre-made symbols and shapes in PowerPoint. If you guys would like any further assistance, please visit us at the Multimedia Lab and we can help you out. Thanks for watching.